Yo, welcome to Aero Plug. My name is NYB and I'm here with Eric Tosca. On this show, we have three segments. The Day Shout, The Big Talk, and Top Fives. On this show, we talk about all the top entertainment trending stuff. On The Big Talk, we discuss the 2020 Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. And finally, we give you the Top 5 VGMA moments. Let's go for a quick break. Don't tag that down. This is The Real Plug. You are still watching The Real Plug. On this show, we talk about all the top trending entertainment just this week. First up, we have Andy Dusty in the news. So last Saturday, Andy Dusty made a post on his Facebook timeline. He posted, what is all this Kumerican nonsense about? And he received heavy backlash from Kumerikans. Well, I think the backlash was very necessary because in as much as I really respect Andy Dusty mm -hmm. very much, yeah. and he's a fellow Kumerican himself. Really? Yes. Really? So I think he should have probably linked up the people in Kumasi, asked them what it was all about before putting it on social media because the Americans feel they are betrayed by their own person. No, 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 no. I kind of agree with him because he saw the bad movement of the Kumerika, which is the bad side of it flying. He saw people wearing winter jackets in a hot climate, climate doing the gang signs and all those stuff. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, can't, you, you don't do this in Africa. We have our culture naming your cities and suburbs after American states and all this stuff. It doesn't really connect to the Kumasi and the Santi culture. So that is what made him voice out. And I kind of agree with him. Well, Kumerika to the world. So we want to know what you guys are thinking. So send us a message on WhatsApp on 0271-111170. So on the next trending issue, Uncle Jedouble Ambule says Kofi Kenata is the only Ghanaian currently doing proper hair life. He didn't just leave it there. He also stated Shatawale and Stoneboy are still not portraying what is to be Ghanaian in their music. So Akwaba is doing Afrobeat. Jazz. <laughs> Uncle should give us a break. Uh, what is Sobolo? Sobolo is high life and it is Ghanaian. It is mm -hmm. African. You can feel it. Shatawali had a lot of songs that is Ghanaian. Shatawali sings in Ghana, sometimes sings in trees. Somewhere that same. He mostly sings in Ghana, even more than his native language. So Uncle should give us a break. He, should, he has been on, this, on their next for a very long time, especially the dancehall guys. Yes, I like I don't and I don't understand. But when you look at the dancehall culture, you realize there are rudiments of high life in it. In Afrobeat, there are rudiments. In fact, Afrobeat is based on high life. And just saying Kenata is the only person doing high life. Yes, we get that Kenata is one of the best, but you don't also the work of the others, like we have rubbish, you are Yes, we have Kwame Eugene, we have Aquabua. In as much as they are xylophone artists, yes, in a guitar. In as much as they are fusing in Afro beats now, we all know that they are still trying hard to portray what high life is. So uncle, we beg you, this one there, make it rest. Next up we have Angelo Sakodes manager in the trends. So he recently posted pictures of him and Sarko there and fans were like, where is the plaster? <laughs> where are the bruises? Where, where is the injury? Charlie, the picture there, the eye was clear and they were at the outdoor of Dunsey's twins. And Charlie, when you see the picture, even if you're a beam fan, you'll be like, Charlie, this one day, maybe he was faking. But for me, using a glasses, like I use spectacles to so understand it better. Initially, when you have an eye injury, they cover your eyes so that like, you don't open your eye you don't uh, let's say strain your eye that's why they put a plaster it's not as if there was a scratch so the being fans in as much as you want to agend some ignorance should not be accepted <laughs> and this is one you are talking out of experience yes yeah so what what i think is that what i know is that when you have an injury on your eye they do that to prevent it from at rex mm -hmm. yeah so he was working on sarkodias concerts and you know the light the led lights that flashes on their eye up and down so he has to protect his eye from these light rays and all those stuff so they should we should be happy he's safe now and his eye is working perfectly not like my brother sitting <laughs> by me <laughs> well shout out to our friend is a big beam fan charlie shout out to him but then let's stop it mr beautiful the actor claims he was sabotaged because he declared his vote for his love for the national democratic congress or his running mate uh john ex-president john mahama yeah Oh, I think he felt comfortable when he joined the NDC campaign team. There, there, there is sabotage everywhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe truly he was sabotaged and he felt like, okay, I'm making good money here. 
so let me focus there let me at least my government is in power not you guys how much car are you guys paying me and after their government <laughs> went out then he, he's feeling the heat he, yeah so he has to do something he has to come out mm. talk so that they remember him that hey mr beautiful is around yeah. let, let us give campaign but you know <laughs> yeah so they have to find something for him but we were answering one problem under mr beautiful is at the time at the peak he became a bodyguard <laughs> and then you see the president Mr. Beautiful, we will run him. You don't, you don't, you know, you don't have security training. You are no police. You are no military. You are an, an actor. He's yeah. acting. He's acting. He's acting in that capacity. <laughs> yeah. But in as far as I also believe him in a way because uh, Kumasi or the Kumawood yeah, is yeah, yeah. basically in the Ashanti region, and we know Ashantis are usually MPP fanatics, and probably. Yes, there's a possibility. Yeah, but don't roll with me. I don't roll yes, with you. But that should not be the main basis for claiming sabotage. Maybe you should just check his act. Finally, in this segment, we have Nigerian comedian or what should I call it? Nigerian Trevor Noah. <laughs> <laughs> so, power on in it. So, he, he stated that Ghanaians, we have love, we have peace, but we don't love ourselves. We don't support our acts, we don't support our actors, and all those stuff. Mm-hmm. What, what is your take on it? Okay, before I comment, let's check out the video. Did they play only Nigeria like this? The time when I take promote on an artist. When I go use that hotel, they do Papa No. Papa No. They use that hotel, they do Miss Bear and one person. You know, be uh, Samini and Stone Boy. Or Stone Boy and AJ Gabre. Or AJ Gabre. And uh, it's like you people don't know how to promote on an artist. On a get peace, but on a not get love. So I read this news, they give. All the bloggers, every both TV present because I don't I they watch on our online. The only thing that they promote, somebody will come interview for a own song. From there, you go ask the person question just to cause problem with somebody. You just the line won't ask a question, ask a question about the person. So the person will talk one thing now, then you post that thing. You guys are not promoting your artists. Learn how to promote artists because. Everything on the promoter are quarry, quarry from uh, what it be this politician name Kennedy Jackpot to everything is quarry, 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 quarry. <laughs> like, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. Like, let's not hide the fact we always make it look like the Ghanaian music or movie industry is not running like the Nigerian ones, like they are different or they are parallel from us. First of all, yes. Good news and bad news are all part of showbiz. When you go to America, there's there's a website or there's a company called TMZ. TMZ. They are always in your face. Yeah. They are reporting every single thing. Does that make the industry not go on? No. The industry goes on. Who says Nigeria? There's it's all love. We all, we saw it when Bernard Boy came to talk about the video. We all saw the Afro. We yeah, saw how yeah, the yeah. they say the Bernard Boy is not the rule of Dogun. It's the video. We've seen Whiskey the FC versus the video FC. We've seen it on social media. On Twitter, we yes. see them fighting each other every day. Every single every day. day. Fighting about who's the goat, whose mm. album is the best selling album. Jale. And all those stuff. Even Afrobeat now, they are saying, there are some people saying, Whiskey did it. Others are saying, Better Boy did it. And the video fans are yeah. also fighting. You should give us a break. Even, even in their fraternity, their comedy fraternity, they are, uh, Papa and Papa. They are, they are even fighting. And what I don't get is, yes, yes. The, the media we pick sometimes a media can pick a side but the fact is the media space has always been supportive of this artist from negative to positive when we bash you negative we bash you positive it's the whole balance it's not as if we are sidelining anybody so you shouldn't be saying there's peace but there's no love there's love in this industry when Kwesiata got the BET nomination when it was positive we all rallied around him and made a major push that is things we can do in the Ghana music industry. Let's look at that and stop talking about stuff which are not actually helping us in any way. Charlie. My heart's self come. You're still watching the real plug. Let's go for a quick break. I was so heated up, I needed to sip some water just to cool down up around Sebi. But then let's move on to the big talk. So today we are talking about the 2020 Vodafone Ghana Music Award. So Tosca, what are your expectations for this year's? I'm school? really, I'm looking forward to see something exciting, something better than what I've seen done this year with, with the other award schemes and all those stuff. So it's starting from Friday, te- from Friday 28th to 30th of this 
this month, which okay. is Sunday, mm -hmm. the three day event, and tickets are not for sale strictly by invitation. Yeah, so I, I'm looking, I'm, I want to see how the artists will be doing them in till to three three spectators. Well, I, I think I've seen the lineup, we've seen the lives of Sister Fia Medical and more performing, and it will be um, like I want it to be amazing. Yeah, because it's all less, yes. all less of performance, yes, and then. Ghana Music Awards has always been like virtual because you watch on TV. By this time, there's no like open audience, so it has to be over the top. It has to be better than everything we've seen this year because that's like the premiere awards. So now let's look at some categories and guess who might win. Maybe we might. I know. I know Tosca. He he knows how to stick it. So maybe we <laughs> might stick and win. So let's look at the Afro Beat song of the year. So the nominees are. Ejuma by EL and AI. Yeah. We have Commando by Kim Promise. Mia by Kelvin Boy. Bless Me by Darko Darko Vibes. Kusiata comes in with Nobody. Mr. Badman Kitty is here. We also have Dan uh, Zanku from Dope Nation. Pilolo by Guilty Beast. And finally, All for You from Wendy Shay. The only woman in the yeah. pack. So, who do you think is winning? Zanku. Dope Nation. Zanku. Zanku, 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 Zanku. But that song is spiritual. It's very spiritual and it's half Afro beat. That song is purely a typical Afro mm. beat song that will get you on your toes dancing up and down. Charlie, mm. if you don't Zanku it's to break your ankle, then Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> but naturally, I go for a, I, I think I relate to a Juma by EL and really? AI. But unfortunately, I made a video. There was no video to the song. It wasn't really pushed the way I expected them to push it. So I can't really say whether they win. But if, Zanku will not win. Mia by Kelvin Boy, the Afro beat bad man. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's always an option. So let's look at the next category. We have the best rapper category. We have EL, Strongman, Medical, Sarko, the AT, Flo, Eno Baroni, and Kusiata. I'll go for Strongman. Why? Last year he was very deadly. So you remember the, the beef between him and Medical? Mm -hmm. He tore Medical apart. So I'll go for I'll go for him. I'll go for him straight. Uh, well, I think this year I'm kind of tilting. T Flo has always been there lyrically like a lyricist but the boys usually don't come this way yeah yeah but yeah, 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 i yeah, think yeah. this year we might nobody will complain if strong man wins because i remember sunday i was in church i came out at 10 a.m came to sit in the car just to listen to reply <laughs> yeah so like that kind of effect alone is what pushes me out probably the strong man might win well now let's look at the new artist which is another hot category we have j derby emoji music lord pepper Kofi Mole, Tulenke, and Famille. Famille is straight for me. But I, I, I would have, initially I wanted JWB to win, mm. but the, when I checked the West Famille has done last year, the number of hit songs, shows he played, and all those, I, I think he deserves it best. Yes. Uh, well, last year we had a lot of Kofi Mole did well, Tetebo Tang, a lot of paper, who was declared new artist. Yes. Was also the I think Jadobi was let's say if a discovery yeah, from he scratch had, he had yes. a breakthrough from, from scratch he had the major breakthrough he had pop can on the song that's major he didn't play my shows like Famia did Famia is more like a mass market artist yeah. but Jadobi is like a niche but then if it's based on votes I think Famia would actually take it based also based on works Famia would take it but if it's based on international appeal I'll give it to Jay Derby yeah. yes very very important and then let's look at the reggae dancer artist of the year we have Jay Derby again AK Sunstress Episode Jupiter Raskuku and Samini this year we don't have the big giants in it mm. Shatawali and Stoneboy yeah. yeah so there's a time for somebody to win mm. and I think it should be given to Jay Derby because last year he had the biggest dance or song yeah the biggest dance or song he released it and was everywhere had an, an international feature on it which is Pap Khan yeah he played in Ghana mm -hmm. party in the park in UK and other shows even in Ghana he had he played at Ghana Miss Niger adults concerts and all this stuff so i think he deserves it best okay i think this category if you win this category <laughs> it's like you getting an award that you probably do not deserve because <laughs> the top players are not part and it's, yes it's not due to your fault it's due to their own mistakes but then you will not feel that happy to receive it but for this category out of all the list you've like all the names i mentioned i think rasuku did well but in terms of who had the biggest song to yeah. it is Jay Dorby. Yes, he's new in the game, but he actually made an impact with his song. And probably he might win this card. But if Rasuku gets it or even episode, I wouldn't be bad. I don't know why AK Sunshine is here. I think they for equality's sake, but then 
yeah, I'll give the WB Raskuku or episode. Now to the, uh, let's say, artist of the year category. Yeah. We have Kwame Eugene, Dinah Hamilton, Sarkodie, Medical, and Kofi Kenata. Okay, so if everything happens right on 30th, we'll have somebody to take the artist of the year mm -hmm. from Ebony. Yeah. 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 Finally. <laughs> finally, finally. 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 But I think I'll, I'll go for Sarkodie. Mm. I'll go for Sarkodie. Last year, he released the Black Love album, which did very well, extremely well. Mm. Extremely well. He, his concert, he played, he had like two concerts last year. This is Stemma and his annual concert, yeah. Yeah, Rapperholic. Yeah, so I'll go for Sarkodie. Okay, I, to me, honestly, even if Shatowale and Stoneboy <laughs> were in this category, Sarkodie would win it hands down. Last year, he put in so much work like an underground artist would do that you can't even dispute the fact that Sarkodie was actually like arguably the best artist of 2019. Yes, so me, my vote to go for Sarkodie. Now, let's look at the final category on our list. That's the Vodafone most popular song of the year yeah, category. Yeah. We have Aman for Girls by Kwamina MP. Agbelolo by Celestine Donko. We have Ofechon by Sarkodie. Kubikinata comes in with Things Fall Apart. Omada by Medical. Wasem by Diana Hamilton. Zanku Dope Nation. Nothing I Get Remix. Famille. Ubiato. Uh, Kwame Eugene. Nobody by Kusiata. And Mr. Badman by Kidi. This category is a very tight category. Very, very tight. But I think the competition is between Things Fall Apart and Ofechon. If I should pick one, I'll pick Takes for a Fact. Because of when it was released. Mm -hmm. Ufeichon was released in December. And you know the calendar, BGMB calendar ends on 31st of December. Yeah. So and and Takes for a Fact was released in the middle of mm -hmm. 20, tw uh, 2019. Yeah. So I'll go for Things for a Fact because it survived the test of time mm -hmm. and up to now it is still one of the banging songs, one of the top songs in Ghana. Well, uh, I think Kofi Kenata needs to have a taste of his own medicine because for the past years he's been waiting to the end of the year to drop bangers to come and win ours. And now Sarkodie has done same. But he doesn't win the popular song of the year. It's, it's still the same. You see, you release it December, it's fresh in our minds still. Ophetron is still in the chest. And that's that's what is important. And we are talking about last year, not this year. Featuring Prince Bright. So you get it. So for me, last if, year, if last I'm year. voting, last year. I mean, I'll vote for Featuring by Sarkozy. <laughs> I don't care. Last year, it's last still, year. It's, it's still Let, let's, let's deal with the facts. It's, it's still relevant. Okay. It's still relevant. Well, so this has been the big talk. Let's go for a break. When we come back, we move into our final segment. You welcome back to the real plug, and we are moving straight into our last segment, which is the top five. So today we are doing our top five VGM movement, the unforgettable moment in our past VGM. We are starting with the Shatawali Stone Boy fracas, which happened last year. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, the fight there. Yeah. But another memorable moment was when ex Big Brother Africa mate, that's Elikem Kumoji the Taylor, proposed to his then girlfriend and now former wife, Pokello from Zimbabwe, Charlie. Let's check out this proposal. Hello, hello. Mm. Let's move into another hello that happened at the VGM. That is Amachi the day crowning Kwame Eugene as a high life king. That was a, that night. Another big hello. Munye de dema Kwame. Nyami Shao. Obo Adi Nyaku Bon Shao. Now we want to high life music into the highest level. Thank you. From my heart, from God, I support you, Kwame. Bless you. Thank you. Woo! Rockstar. Oh, Charlie. King, king, king. Well, a king already was crying on a night. 2013 Ghana Music Awards. So, Shatawali, aka Bandana, lost out to the dancehall song of the year to Kaki. And he came out storming out, shouting, crying, screaming. Charlie, let's check out Shatawali. Everybody! 
Finally, in this segment, we have our one and only high life pioneer. Pioneer. Bisakeide. <laughs> Bisakeide. Masa Edujik Pioneer. <laughs> so, in 2016, when Bisakeide received the High Life Artist of the Year, mm -hmm. he made a speech that he is one of the pioneers of the high life genus. And Ghana went gaga. <laughs> I'm very, very happy today, tonight. And I'm happy not because I'm holding this in my hand. But today, when you mention the pioneers of highlight music, Mr. Kader's name is part of it. And I want to say a big thank you to everybody who believes in me. So yes, I hope you had an exciting time like the way we did. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the raw plug. This is the raw plug. This, this is the raw plug. We might have done it, but now they couldn't for for a run. <laughs> so guys, don't forget to follow Muse Africa on Muse uh, underscore Africa on Twitter, on Muse dot Africa on Instagram, and Muse Africa on uh, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And follow me at Eric Tosca on Twitter, Eric Tosca on Facebook, Tosca GH on Instagram. And personally, you can also give me a follow on Facebook is Shiabuido Abafu Jr. On Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat is at NYB yeah. underscore live. live. And guys, don't forget, this is Muse as on Friday, on Friday, 5.30 p.m. sharp with my boy Derek Anobwedi and Nashika. It's going to be an amazing program, yeah. Charlie. But don't forget, this is the Roblox. Roblox. My name is and always will be NYB and I did it with Eric Tosca. Catch you same time next week. Bye-bye.